we might not need each other to take care of patients. Just pull their hair and it's good. <laughs> not yet. Tiffany, what are you doing today? I am getting my hair harvested. And what's in the bottom of your hair follicle? The stem cells. Where is it going after this? <laughs> it is going to the lab mm -hmm. where they're going to process them. And then they're going to be stored at the bottom of Toronto General Hospital. Yeah, it's going to be cryopreserved. Mm -hmm. So can you tell everybody how old you are? I'm 27 years old. So if she needs her stem cells at 60 to make liver cells... How old will your stem cells be? 27. Now you're going to take your stem cell. And what do you do? This is Alessia. What do you do with it? So we take the stem cells and we're able to process them, take everything that's great out of them, so exosomes, growth factors, and turn them into a personalized serum. So we yeah. can either microneedle them into your face, into your scalp, or into, or your, joints. into your joints. And that's coming soon. So in the near future, that's the joint health and repair and recovery for injuries. In the not too distant future, because some labs are already doing it, is to create stem cells into natural killer cells for cancer treatment and also for treatment of diabetes because it's going to be able to make insulin.